Rathian, you have my gratitude. Your aid was unexpected, but appreciated. It was an honor to stand with you, my queen. I trust your flight will now assist us in claiming the Obsidian Citadel from the Jaradin. Of course we will. After we see to the safety of the eggs. Surely they are secure now that Razagath has been driven away. Oh, you do not know her as I do, young one. She is an unpredictable foe. For now, we must remain at the life pools and safeguard our future. Our future? Or yours? The Obsidian Citadel was built to defend all of the Dragon Isles. You cannot abandon the legacy of my flight to the hands of our enemies. I would have expected you to care more for the protection of helpless eggs, Rathian. Stay then. Tend to what matters most to your flight, and I will save what matters most to mine. Neltharion. And you are? Rathian, heir of Neltharion, and I've never heard of you. Likewise. We'll discuss this later. I owe you my thanks. Your help was invaluable in securing my rightful place on the Obsidian Throne. Oh, I believe you're mistaken. This throne, this legacy, is my birthright. Ah, <sighs> no. The mistake is yours. I was anointed caretaker of this flight by Neltharion himself. So let me be clear. When all is said and done, I will be the aspect of the Black Dragon Flight. Is that so? Hmm. May the worthiest dragon win. Stay close, champion. We cannot afford for anything to happen to the wagon or its contents. Why are we taking this ridiculous contraption again? It's agonizingly slow. Our enemies will be on the lookout for us, and we cannot risk an encounter while transporting the eggs. So we shall travel as mortals do to avoid their gaze. If saving the future of your kind bores you, you are free to leave. I would welcome the silence. Is this your idea of subtlety? Oh, quiet whelp. I will risk no harm coming to the eggs. I could assist our dear champion in defending the wagon, you know. There's no reason they have to do all the dirty work themselves. And reveal ourselves to the enemy? Absolutely not. 
Stay in your seat. This is getting ridiculous. How many random encounters must we suffer before you realize your ruse has failed? Let us take wing and be done with it. Oh, cease your fidgeting. If anything is putting us at risk of discovery, it is your childish impatience. Finally, I was worried the eggs would hatch before reaching the life pools. <sighs> Titans, give me patience. Your time ends today, puppets. Is this the leadership you offer our people? Perhaps the others will see reason now. What is the meaning of this, Sibelian? Where are the eggs? Yes, why don't you explain how your ridiculous plan destroyed the future of an entire flight? Ah, I apologize for any misunderstandings, Lifebinder. But any report of our extinction is premature. The eggs were never in danger. The cart and my presence were merely to draw the attention of our foes and allow my clutch to move unobserved. I have spent millennia rebuilding my flight. As Neltherian's heir, I pledge it and myself what are to you? you. These eggs are most welcome here, Sibelian. But your part in your father's twisted legacy has earned you no such privilege. I will ensure the eggs are cared for, but I will not be involved in your bickering. That is for the black, not the red, to decide. What has happened to this egg? The energies that surround it are... This is dire. If the egg can be saved, it will be here, within the sacred waters of the life pools. Once the young of Dragonkind filled this vibrant place. And the Ruby Oathstone, the very symbol of our calling, cast its bright glow high into the air for all to see. Now it lies dormant, as do all the Oathstones. I suspect they fell quiet when we relinquished our aspectral power. There are so many things we left behind. But now that we have come home, we can fulfill the callings of our flights and renew the Five Oath Stones. And through their unity, our absent power shall be restored.